Okay, we are starting the DHCP. <coughs> I am getting into the router. <coughs> what is the password? No, SJBID. Okay. Now the DHCP configurations. I'll go to the configuration mode. I'll give a command IP DHCP IP DHCP in the global configuration mode. I'll put a question mark here. You have a couple of options here. One of the options is saying pull. The second one. So I'll say pull. And I have to give a name to the pool. Okay. Now, normally pools will be according to the department wise, but here the pool means if you let's say that I want to give IP address to this all the devices in this network, I have to give a name to the network. Normally, you know, under normal circumstances now all these devices are connected to this switch let us name him as switch 1 and I will say that this pool the name is switch 1 there is you know it doesn't matter what name you give to them ok so I will just name this for this network I will name it as pool 1 a uh, pool switch 1 and this one I will take uh, tell as pool switch 2 ok fine enter you can see that you are in the DHCP hyphen config ok if you put a question mark here you will get couple of options here like you can uh, the first option which I will try is the network command network that means if somebody is requesting IP address from which network the router should give the IP address ok so the network let me say it is 10.0.0.0 255.255.255.0 this is the network and the subnet mask enter so when a client from this side asks for a IP address he is going to give a IP address from this network but along with this IP address he will be giving you know we can ask him to give some other things also some other informations also we can push one of the most important information he will push is what is the default gateways IP address ok along with the his own IP address he will get the IP address of the default gateway that will be called as default router so default router is 10.0.0.1 in this case correct along with that I would like to send the information about the DNS server ok so I will say ok you may use the DNS server let's say I am using a public DNS server 4.2.2.2 so along with the IP address he is going to give a default gateway and the DNS server's address also. My job here is over. I will exit out. Once I exit out I have to do one more configuration here. I will go to IP DHCP. If you put question mark here can you see the first option excluded address. So you use excluded address here. Now what is this excluded address? You may have some very important servers in this particular network. You may have some important devices. Let's say there is a server here and you have to remotely connect to this server again and again and again. Are you getting my point? If you want to remotely connect to some device, you need to have the IP address of the device. You need to know the IP address of the device. Whenever you are giving the IP address through DHCP you are actually giving, giving it on lease what do you mean by giving it on lease you are giving it for a fixed period of time 
okay after at the end of which the ip address will be taken back from him and if he wants he may have to ask it again again the dora process has to start and next time he may or may not get the same ip address he may or may not get the same ip address now if you want that this server you know this server you want you know you have to always remotely connect constantly okay that means you need to know what is the ip address of this server for that the ip address of this server should not change again and again okay so some of the important devices like the server like the switch or some other places you may like to give it manually you may not want the server to take the ip address automatically you would like to give him manually are you getting my point so this server is connected to this network so he has to get a ip address from this network only in that case you will tell the dhcp server that while you are assigning those ip addresses please exclude some ip address and keep it for me because i want to assign them manually are you getting my point so i would like to tell him let's say that in this network i want to keep five ip addresses separately one of them i have already given to the default router default gateway so i will say that 10.0.0.1 to 10.0.0.5 please don't assign if somebody is asking ip address please give start giving from 10.0.0.6 are you getting my point so i have to give him the range of ip address which he has to exclude now this is the first ip address of the range this is the last ip address of the range clear okay now in this configuration i am telling that ip dhcp excluded address that means please exclude the addresses which addresses to be excluded you have need to give a range the low ip address that means the first ip address of the range that is 10.0.0.1 space put a question mark the high ip address of the range that means the last ip address of the range okay that is 10.0.0.5 that means from 10.0.0.1 to 10.0.0.5 please exclude those addresses clear enter so my dhcp configuration for this part of the network is over i will go to this pc and let me check i'll go to this pc previously you know you have gone to desktop you have gone to ip config and you started giving ip addresses but this time i want him to give get the ip address from the dhcp is he of course you know this is 10.0.0.6 can you see that he is getting the ip address 10.0.0.6 because dot 1 to dot 5 has been excluded is this clear hmm? now you can go to the command prompt and you can give the command ip config if you give the ip config command you are going to get the ip address subnet mask and default gateway you have a command ip config space from slash release that means you are telling the pc that please release the ip address what you have received from the dhcp server are you getting my point you can ask him to get the ip address again by giving the command renew ip config space from slash renew that means please start the dora process again and get it back now next time he may or may not get the same one is this clear your dhcp configuration is clear okay so i can you know i can do it for this network also i can go to the router i can create one more dhcp pool and one more dhcp excluded address the best practice is create the excluded address first then create the pool for that network okay so ip dhcp excluded address 
for the other network okay it is 10.0.1.1 to let's say i want to keep till 10.0. you know uh, 1.10 for the next pool and now i have to create the pool ip dhcp pool let's say i give him switch 2 the network i want to assign is 10.0.1.0 255.255.255.0 the default router for that network is 10.0.1.1 and let me keep the same dns server the same public dns server my configurations are over at the end if you want just save it ah one more thing to save it you give the command copy running configuration startup configuration right there is a shortcut you can use that is wr wr is actually write memory okay but in your ccna exam you cannot use this write memory command you have to type the entire command copy running configuration startup configuration and one more thing i would like to tell you is if you are doing some configuration simulations in your exam every time you have done some configuration don't forget to save it if you don't save it when it is getting imported there it will not get you know your configurations will not be there that as a result of which you will get zero whatever configurations you do you need to save it copy running configuration startup configuration okay so dhcp is over any doubt here okay so let let the pc get get the ip address here it should get 11 yes it is getting 11 it should get 12 it is getting 12 and it should get 10.0.0.7 now there is one question when this pc was asking for a ip address now my dhcp server had two pools right pool maybe switch 1 pool switch 2 now how did the dhcp server or this router decide that i have to give the ip address from switch 1 to this guy not from switch 2 how did he decide are you understanding what i am saying he has got two different networks how did he decide that you know if a packet is coming from this side i have to give from pool 1 and if a packet is coming from this side request is coming from this side i have to give from pool 2 because on this router on this fast ethernet 0/0 you have given 10.0.0.1/24 right ip address so router is thinking that entire ip entire 10.0.0.0 should be there on this network so any time any request is coming from this side he will give from 10.0.0.0 network are you getting my point and you have 10.0.0.1.1 ip address here slash 24 so he knows that here it will be 10.0.1.0 slash 24 network so any anybody request any request come is coming from this side he is going to give ip address from this network only as i think i was telling you on the first day that routers have something called as routing table right the routers has have something called as routing table so if you want to see the routing table what command do you give show ip route show ip route show ip route command will show you what all informations he has in his routing table and he will take all the decisions you know looking looking at the routing table only 
okay now presently his routing table says that he has got information about two networks one is 10.0.0.0 and one is 10.0.1.0 how did he learn because you have given a in ip address of that particular network on one interface so he understood entire network is on this side okay and 10.0. Uh, other other IP address on other interface. So if you give a particular IP address from one network, he will understand that entire network is on that side. That's why he is telling C means it is directly connected. 10.0.0.0 actually it is slash 24 is directly connected on my fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. And 10.0.1.0 slash 24 is directly connected on my fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Getting my point? Now, is this part clear? Okay. Next, let us, till now, whatever we were configuring, we were configuring from the console cable. Okay. Now, let us see. Let us give a command pin and I want to check my connectivity with my router. I will say pin 10.0.0.1. I know the IP address of the router and I am getting a reply. It is very important that you read the reply. Who is sending? Okay, it is reply from 10.0.0.1. That means the router is sending the reply and four request packets. See, it is telling sent four, receive four. That means there was zero loss. Four echo request packets were sent and four echo replies were received. So there was no loss. Everything is okay. Now, if I ping to the broadcast address 10.0.0.255 will be the broadcast address for this network. I will get the reply not only from the router but all other devices in the network that actually is the other PC with 10.0.0.7 IP address this part is clear I want to stop it I'll put control C This is interesting. He has sent four packets and he has received eight packets because two devices have replied because it was a broadcast address. Clear? What? Break. No break. What break? What will you do with break? After one, one and a half hour, you are going home. 